Qualcomm Vuforia platform is a really powerful and popular tool which is designed to help you create apps that deliver compelling interactive experiences. So it really empowers you to create mobile apps that can see the world around you in, in new ways. And you're really going to be able to create these amazing mobile experiences because you're going to connect smartphones and tablets to everyday objects. So the benefit to the consumer is that they can use their camera phone to see an object in the real world, but interact with it in a much deeper and richer way. So thanks to Vuforia, people can connect and interact with everything. And we're talking about everything, I mean, even things that don't have any computing or connectivity capabilities themselves. So stuff like magazines or, or toys or different kinds of consumer goods. And Vuforia really is continuing to gain a strong, strong momentum across the mobile developer community. So since last year's uplink, number of developers more than doubled. And the number of commercial apps that are enabled by this platform has more than quadrupled. And the list of leading brands that are leveraging the power of Qualcomm Vuforia is also growing. And when brands are looking to use augmented reality in their apps, choice is clear. There was a recent study that looked at well-known brands using augmented reality and found that four out of five branded AR apps are powered by Vuforia. So let's take a look at some of them. Okay, so we really see Euphoria as this key building block for enabling the next generation of Sixth Sense experiences. And we got a cool live example for you here. So uh, I'm going to show that to you. Please welcome our Euphoria team lead, Jay Wright. <laughs> Thanks, Paul, and good morning. You know, it's been really amazing to see how far we've come in just a few short years since we announced Vuforia here at Uplink. And it's really been driven by brands realizing the power of vision and augmented reality to connect mobile apps to their products and advertising. But this morning, I'm here to talk about gaming. Gaming has been huge on mobile, so it's no surprise it's been popular with Euphoria developers also. And our inspiration has actually come from the movies. Now, we're all amazed by movie magic. The combination of computer graphics and real-world movie scenes, think about Toy Story, really captures our imagination. So we were thinking, is there a way we can use that same kind of movie magic to bring a new dimension to gaming? quite literally. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me describe this contraption I've got without wireless technology this morning. This is a Sony Xperia tablet that's Snapdragon powered. And on the back, you're going to see something special. This is the latest in 3D sensors from our friends at PrimeSense. It's called the PrimeSense Capri. And I'm going to actually plug it in via USB. And you'll see this arm here is attached to a camera so that you can see what I'm seeing. Now, the game I'm going to show is called Reign of Amira, and it is the latest in Qualcomm's own series of games. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to select my character, which is Amira. And now we're going to do something a little bit different. I get to choose where I want to play. And not surprisingly, I'm going to be playing on this table in front of me. And we're going to be using a brand new Vuforia technology that we're announcing today called Smart Terrain. And what Smart Terrain does is it creates a 3D mesh of the play environment 
and all of the objects on top of it in real time. So let's take a look. So what you're gonna notice here is that Smart Terrain has identified the bounds of the table with the square, the square, the rectangle that's going around it. Now it has also immediately created 3D meshes of the objects on the table. So notice the curved mesh that's been created around the vase, and as I move the device, the mesh actually increases in size and detail. And you'll see more angular meshes that have been created around the tissue box and the books. Well, that's some nice geometry, but that's not a very interesting play environment. Let's change that. So watch closely. What you'll see is grass start to grow on the table. Stone pylons will come up around the tissue box and the books, and then watch the vines actually grow around the edges of the vase. How cool is that? Okay. So what we can do here with Smart Terrain is actually create our own game worlds with real world physical objects. So let's take a look at what that means for gameplay. And you'll notice here I've got a pretty standard tower defender kind of experience. So I've got bad guys that are coming out of these wells on the ground. They're trying to attack Amira on the tower and I can help Amira shoot fireballs. Now what is special is that the game physics actually apply to the objects on the table. So notice as I have Amira fire a fireball at the vase, it will actually bounce off and explode on the vase. Similarly, the characters will walk around the objects, not through them, and can even climb on top. So check out the action when I come down on the side and look at this guy on the tissue box. Really cool gameplay. Well, I hope I'm doing a better job of explaining this than I am actually playing the game. It looks like my health is in trouble. Hey, Paul, do you have any ideas here? I think you're having a little bit of trouble, but I think I got something that might help. Let me put this Snapdragon. on. Snapdragon. That looks like a Snapdragon toy. Well, we're gonna see what Snapdragon can do here. I think I know where you're going with this. All right, Snapdragon, welcome to the future and prepare to get imported into this game. Let's do it. All right, and there he is. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. Great idea. So here goes Snapdragon. Let's see what he can do for me. All right, he saved the day and killed all the bad guys. Thanks so much for that. Wish I had him for all my games. <laughs> so we're very excited about this capability. We think the ability to combine digital gaming with the real world is a really big idea. And we're working hard to make it available for all of you. So there will be an SDK available for use with the PrimeSense Capri sensor in the spring. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of Uplink. Thanks, Jay.